So the MetroScan is the same technology. We have a few different tiers. We get the Black Elite, and then uh, and then we have the uh, Black, which is uh, you know just the the more trimmed down version of the Black Elite, the latest through blue light scanning or sorry blue laser scanning technology. And then the MetroScan 357 is basically our, our old version. What was our 750? Uh, red lasers again, previous generation stuff. Very similar layout to the Handy Scan. So our accuracy is going to be very similar to the Handy Scans as far as initial field of view, but our volumetric accuracy is going to be a much tighter than the standalone Handy Scan Black Elite and and 700 Elites without using. Uh, like a photograph, a, a optional photogrammetry kit. So this was our version. This is the scanner I've utilized mostly in the past for doing large items. It's a bit more convenient to scan with as far as having to put targets on something, even than the Max. But it's a lot more equipment. So if you need to be more mobile, the Handy Scan Max, the new one with the large field of view, is going to be a much more um, it's going to be a much more convenient scanner to bring around. If you don't have to be super mobile, you're going to do everything in one shop and you're going to utilize this scanner for a lot of different large parts. Uh, the Metro scan is definitely still the way to go. And, uh, and I'll go ahead. You can see the, the black elite and the, um, you know, those models are uh, also ISO accredited. Um, so all of our top level scanners are, it's, it's, uh, you know, really nice for end use customers. Uh, so let's say in the defense or aerospace industries that require you to have some sort of certification or accreditation uh, that you can back up. So the Handy Probe is the actual handheld CMM that pairs with the MetroScan. And I'll show you how it all works together here in just a moment. But this is basically if you want to take single points or if you just need to probe some holes or you just don't need to scan data, you've got pretty simple features. It's also much less expensive to just get the handy probe in and of itself. Just depends on some of these requirements and what they need. But you can see here, uh, it's very similar if anybody's familiar with a CMM. This is basically taking the CMM off of the arm or off of the big gantry if you've seen those in, in shops or if you have one and you're holding it and the tracker will look at the probe at any given time. Speaking of the tracker, the way that the MetroScan and the Handy Probe tie into one another is with the C Track optical tracker. So this is showing it on a on a tripod. We we always recommend going with the base. We'll just see it in the next slide. But you've got the tracker. It sees a giant working volume, and it look up to sixteen and a half cu uh, cubic meters. So it sees that huge area, and it tracks the part. Not only does it track the part with you throw a handful of targets on the part. It also tracks the MetroScan and it tracks the Handy Probe. So anywhere you walk within that field of view, you can take scan data or you can probe points. And so that's the big advantage to the MetroScan is, is you can get away with a lot less targets because you don't, the scanner doesn't need to see the targets, just the tracker looking at its big field of view needs to see a handful in that, in that area. So the tracker looks at everything. The tra because the tra any of these scanners, because the targets are on the part, uh, especially when we do with larger parts, we can have vibration in the system. We can be doing this on the shop floor and we don't have any issues. So you can see here, this is the setup I generally use. I've got my tracker on the stand, the shop floor stand. That's really nice. You can wheel it around. The base is heavy, so you don't have to worry about knocking the tripod over anything. This thing will not fall over. And the scanner is scanning the part. You can see the blue lasers projected on the car there. And then you can see uh, this is like an optional workstation that we have that holds the scanner as well as the laptop, stuff like that, or all the cables and everything. So that's your typical layout. So it's a bit more equipment than, you know, any of the handy scans, but doing lots of large parts, it's, uh, it's a really nice option to have. All right. A little more in action. So you can see you can apply this to any number of different areas. A lot of these are aerospace. So... Um, you know, I've utilized, I, I've used ours for um, so many different projects, so many different benchmark projects between you know, aerospace, between automotive, defense, boating, everything. So anything that's large, this works. This is a great solution. And again, shop floor ready, environmental vibration does not affect the accuracy. If you use the positioning targets, because we can tie into the part 
and, uh, and track the parts motion. It's really neat.